Hi, my name is Adam from Inflectra, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you about Rapiz, our test automation solution. In this video, we'll be orienting you on the main elements of this tool so you can find your way around more easily. First of all, when you first come to Rapiz, you come to this welcome page. In the welcome page, which we call the start page, we will show you a playlist, which you're watching right now, of videos to help you get started. Please feel free to watch these videos and that will help you get used to using the tool for the first time. Once you've got the basics under your belt, then you can move on to the in-depth webinar playlist where we have more advanced topics. For example, how to test with different packaged applications, how to do API testing and other more advanced webinars that you will find interesting. In addition on this page, there is a list of all the samples available in Rapiz. When you first install the system, we preload the, your tool with a variety of samples. However, there may be ones we've published online after you've installed it. So feel free to hit the fetch button to get the latest samples from our website and make sure you are up to date. Also, a list of all the documentation is available underneath the two videos, the online resources, the documentation and the tutorials. This page will only show the very first time you can close it. However, if you want to show it the next time, check this box and that way every time you use Rapiz, it will reshow this start page. It's up to you. So, okay, so that's the start page. The rest of the application is broken down to sections. The, so the first thing that's most important is the main menu. In the menu, you can access every feature in Rapiz from one click. For example, we can create new tests, we can open tests in the file menu, we can save into our Spira test management tool. In the edit menu, uh, you can find items, both finding inside the current window or also finding in files. The view menu lets you find and show different parts of the application. For example, we just hit the start page. If I want to get it back, I can just do view start page to bring it back. Also, if I want to see some of the other parts of the screen, I'm not sure where they are, it will highlight them for you. For example, right now I can see on the left hand side the list of all the objects and the things like that. So I can click on the objects button and there you go. There's my list of objects. So it will highlight things on the page if you're not sure where they are or if they're hidden. So for example, there's also an output window which we'll be using later on. If I do show output, that window comes back and that will show you all the results from any of your tests. And the output window, which we'll use when we do testing in some of the later videos, shows you things like warnings, errors. When you find things, it shows you the results and the output tab will give you debug information if a test fails. But obviously, it does take up space on the page. So when you're writing tests, you might want to hide it to give yourself more screen space. Uh, also on the main menu, the test me option, that lets you play and record tests. It also lets you access the settings of the current test, which is right here. It also lets you see the connection to Spira Team. We'll come back to that in another video. And then we have a tool menu. The tool menu is where you can use most of the tools for debugging, spying, and also when you want to access some of the more advanced features in Rupees. So typically things that you use less frequently will be on the tools menu. For example, you might want to turn on the debugger if a test fails to find out why it's failing. You can also change the libraries you're using. Uh, that lets you test different types of application and change your mind. Uh, we can also do manual testing with Rupees, and that's you know, initiated by hitting this manual steps button. It lets you record manual actions. And when you want to start uh, creating web service tests, you can access that from right here. Similarly, if you want to do any load testing, this is also the place where you can connect to NeoLoad, uh, our load testing solution from our partner Neotis. When you want to change the settings in the application, depending on the type of setting, you can access it from the settings menu. For example, if you want to change settings that affect the entire application, that's here under global settings. If you want to change uh, the spy settings of how it's going to record information when it records tests and the spy, that's available right here. We'll come back to spy in our section on web testing. Also, if you're doing different kinds of testing, for example, you might be testing using Selenium, you might be testing a mobile device or testing a Java application. Those are specific settings here for those kinds of application. So depending on if it's web, mobile, desktop or, or load testing, you may want to access one of these other settings over here. And lastly, if you get stuck, don't worry about it. There's an easy to access help menu. Click on the help button, pops out the browser. And now you access our comprehensive help system and all the different help topics and manuals are all available right here. This is also available on our company website as well, but it's convenient to have it right here offline.
So that's the main menu. That menu is used to access every part of Rupees. However, some of the more frequently accessed pieces are also available on this toolbar. So things like recording, playing, saving, searching, using the web spy or the other types of spy that we have, the debugger if you're going to do some more advanced uh, diagnostics, saving to and from our test management tool, and accessing the different kinds of tests. For example, every test has a main uh, test script, what we call the test file, it looks like this. Also, you may have a user function file, which is where you can put any custom functions. And when you're doing testing, we recommend you generally are using our codeless test philosophy known as Rupees Visual Language, or RVL, and that's accessible right here. So these three let you access the most commonly accessed features, the main RVL script, the user functions, and any other custom test files. So those are the toolbar. When you add open different things from the toolbar or from the menu, everything appears here in tabs. For example, the start page, the main uh, test file. If you open up a web service, it will have a tab. Everything works through tabs. You can always close a tab just by clicking on the cross button right here. Also on this page, if you look at the top right, there is the browser selector. Um, this is only used when you're doing web testing, but if you want to change browsers, for example, I recorded a test in Firefox and I want to play it back through Internet Explorer or Chrome, you can change that setting right here. And we do that because it's often something you will change quite frequently, and as well as being able to access it from the menu, we wanted to make it easy to get to. Um, the two other really important parts of the page are the object tree, which is right here. And you can get to it also by doing view show objects. The object tree shows you everything that you're in, you've interacted with. There are some built-in global objects that you can see here. And those are utilities that you can access at any time. For example, if you want to shake a device, you want to access a database to get test data. In addition to that, the menu above that will show you all of the different objects that are useful and specific to your test. So in this case, we've re previously recorded a web application with three different windows. You can see the three different windows here and all of the objects that you've interacted with in each of the windows. So it's the master place to access all of the objects that you interact with. In addition to that, we have the file viewer. Rapiece stores all of its files on the file system in a standard file structure using open file formats. And you can see here in the file viewer all of the main files. There are JavaScript files for code. There's the XLS file for the codeless test scenario. The objects files are stored as JSON. All these different files and reports, any other thing you want to store with your test can be stored in this file viewer. For example, you might have a spreadsheet with some test data. You can store that right here. You may have some log files or other um, application files that you want to have here for your test. Everything can be stored here in the file viewer and also version control with, with our Sparrow test test management tool. So that's the main outline of, of Rapiz. Those are the main elements. In the other videos that we'll be doing, we're going to be going through recording a web test, recording a desktop test, and then also using Rapiz together with Spira team. So hopefully this helped you orient you before we do that. And looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.